Welcome. Today we'll solve a problem involving moments of forces around a tripod structure. We have a force F equal to 50 I minus 20 J minus 80 K Newtons. And we need to find the moment of this force about each of the baselines of the tripod. Let's visualize our tripod structure. We'll use a three-dimensional coordinate system. The tripod has three base points, A, B, and C. These points form the baselines A, B, B, C, and C, A. Now let's add our force vector F. Remember, it has components of 50 in the I direction, negative 20 in the J direction, and negative 80 in the K direction. To find the moment about each line, we need to use the cross product formula. The moment M equals our cross F, where R is the position vector from any point on the line to the force vector. Let's start with the moment about line AB. First, we need to find a position vector from point A to where the force acts. This gives us our vector. Then we take the cross product of R with F. Next, let's find the moment about line BC. We follow the same process, but now using a position vector from point B. This gives us a different R vector, leading to a different cross product calculation. Finally, we'll calculate the moment about line CA. Again, we need a position vector, this time from point C, and perform the cross product to find our final moment. After performing all calculations, we get the following magnitudes for the moments about line AB, 240 newton meters about line BC, 190 newton meters about line CA, 210 newton meters. These moments represent the turning effect of the force about each baseline of the tripod. The different magnitudes show how the force's effect varies depending on which line we consider as our axis of rotation.